Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com, and uh, today Nintendo had its pre E3 conference, or you could say webcast, if you will. And the whole idea for Nintendo was to showcase things about the controller and the new system, and I think just you know spend most of Tuesday showing games, which is cool. So what they did is actually officially announced, announced the uh, Nintendo uh, GamePad Wii U GamePad controller. They announced also secondary controller, which is the Pro controller, and also showed some online um, uh, mentioned some online details. So let's talk about the uh, Nintendo Wii U GamePad. The game, excuse me, the Game Cap Pad itself is of course the Wii U controller that we know, uh, which sports a touchscreen display. It's got two analog uh, sticks instead of the analog disc you saw last year. The actually analog sticks that you can actually click down and has the L3 and the R3, so you can actually depress them down with L3 and the R3 there. Um, it's also got an NFC uh, sensor pad on the left side, so basically you can put like you know a game card or figurine and use NFC capability to actually transfer content in and out of the controller. The home button is changed and centralized. You also have a TV button and you have TV guide control. So you can also use it just like we've seen with the um, Samsung Galaxy Tab where you have the IR blaster and you can use to control your TV. You have that functionality also with your Wii U, uh, Wii U gamepad. So Nintendo's trying to make it more of a um, central tool within the home entertainment network, which is pretty nice that they, they're trying to do that there. Uh, the gamepad itself also is slightly redesigned, a, um, so the, the shape is also more more comfortable to, for gameplay. Comes in black or white variations, um, and it's got hand grips now. It's a little wider, but you know it's easy to use and control. So that's the Wii U gamepad itself. Now the Pro Controller, uh, Pro Controller looks like an Xbox 360 controller, uh, just design-wise itself. It's got two analog sticks, both at the top, like a PS3, which I do not like. Sorry, I prefer the way it's set up with the Xbox. You've got a D-pad, you've got your YXBA button, you've got your home button, you've got your start select, and you have a power button. Now, it's a wireless controller, so it has three indicators at the bottom there, as you can see in the photo. And you've also got your LR and your L1 and your R1 button. So you do have your whole range from um, L L1 to L3, if you will, with the controller. Seems comfortable. It's got that. Um, it's got that sidewinder look more than anything else. So it's still almost still a Xbox uh, themed controller, uh, you know, design wise, if you will. So that is the Wii U gamepad controller. Now um, the online components. Now they didn't still go into too much detail there, but they did mention a few things. Number one, there's video chat and there's a web client. So there's a browser, and also there's a video chat. And they actually showed in. The, um, uh, mentioned situations where you could actually, uh, if you have an, uh, have an issue, could actually call someone and um, um, and chat with them on the message boards, and so which is something is kind of you know uh, is new to Nintendo because Nintendo never wanted you to talk to anyone online. You needed the friend codes and things like that, and it seems like you could actually go on the message boards if you had an issue with the game, so you couldn't pass a stage, which they showed. They showed a survival horror game. Graphically, very quick snippets. It looked like Resident Evil to me, uh, but you know, I could be wrong. Could be something else. But um, you know, the guy went in the message message boards and he tried to find out some tips about you know, the game. Um, so there's that aspect of it. This video chat. It also showed the game hub itself, where the game hub is. It is like the the we. The Wii Pavilion or the Wii Center, a uh, Mii Center, the Mii Pavilion, it's called the Miiverse. So where you do have icons for your different games popping around everywhere, and you can see different Mii's congregating to different uh, game icons, even games you never don't have, games that you do have or played, and it shows you basically, oh, I have these bunch of friends playing that game, I have these people playing this game over there. So it's kind of a Nintendo's unique way of saying, you know, this is what people are playing. It's pretty cool. Seems simplistic enough and very easy to understand and do. Of course, even the uh, the, the forums also had me characters, and, and it's cool that at least you can actually use the uh, the touchpad itself, the the gamepad itself to type because you have a touch screen. Still comes with a stylus, so you can actually still you know draw on there if you want. A couple of things in there. Um, 
when it comes to the online game. The developers will have tools to apply some of that, so that some of the Miiverse into the, uh, the game, so the, the APIs are available for developers are also on there. And, um, and also they showed the browser, where you can actually throw content simultaneously from the gamepad onto uh, the TV. So um, they gave a brief summary of what they're trying to do online. They didn't, didn't go into much details. So hopefully we'll learn more on Tuesday when Nintendo has their full press conference at E3. But so far we've seen, you know, we've seen the revision of the, uh, the game, Wii U gamepad, which of course sports a IR sensor, NFC reader and writer. So basically it works both ways. Um, also um, has the TV guide button, so you can actually use it for as a TV remote control. And also has uh, analog, analog sticks instead of analog discs. We also we saw the um, the Pro Controller, which is Xbox style in in design, more closer to the Sidewinder than anything else. I think it's got the same button layouts as the Xbox, except the analog sticks are like the PS3, uh, and it's a wireless controller. I believe uh, Bluetooth, but I, I could be wrong. But it definitely is a wireless controller. And finally, Nintendo showed its online game. Um, Network, if you will, not gameplay, but network, showing the fact that you could have, uh, if you go on message boards, you could video chat, there's a web client, and um, they also mentioned and showed the fact that it looks like they will have applications where you can actually log into your Nintendo um, uh, Nintendo network, which is what it's called. It's going to be called the Nintendo network. So it looks like there will be an app for iOS, Android, and probably also a Windows phone eventually, where you could log in, um, you know, chat with people, friends, check your, your uh, game points, whatever it's going to be called, buy uh, buy stuff, and also you know play around with your Mii characters. So that's pretty much it for what Nintendo showed today at their pre E three conference. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all about to work with our two O's. So this is Thunder Yee saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.